the cycle superhighways that they've put in place in Denmark, the idea is that you don't either you don't have to interact with motor traffic or you only interact with very low levels of motor traffic. So I think in London we need more clarity about those standards. And I would like to see on main roads, I'd like to see more use of segregated cycle tracks on superhighways. I think that is really important. And one of the main things people will say is that I don't feel safe cycling on the roads, I don't feel safe cycling near motor traffic. And we have to try and improve cycling environments for those people because you know, you can tell people that um, it's, you know, cycling with large motor vehicles is not really dangerous, it just feels dangerous, but if people think something feels dangerous, you know, then they're not going to do it. People who want to cycle, but don't currently cycle, they want to cycle away from lots of motor traffic, they don't want to be cycling next to HGVs, they don't want to be overtaken closely by taxis going 35 miles an hour, they don't, they don't want those kinds of experiences. We want cycling to be fashionable and we want it to be something that everybody does.